Hi, okay, everybody. I thought I'd share uh, this post on uh, chat GPT and Power Virtual Agents and then creating conversation bots with them and also populating the data from uh, Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain all in one sort of thing. And uh, I just managed to get this working this morning and I have to give a, a, a shout out to Remy who created this amazing uh, blog post about how you uh, keep conversation running within uh, the Power Virtual Agents because this gave me all the information that I needed in order to go out and do that. So I'll include a link to this in the uh, in the uh, description for later on. But what what I did is I wanted to create a chatbot that used information from Dynamics as sort of like a seed, and then you can go and ask questions about it. So what what I gleaned from the from the blog post is that we can go out and we can uh, call uh, ChatGPT and then pass information through to it. So I've, I'll just quickly describe the Power Virtual Agent here. And what it's doing is it's going out and it's starting off and it's getting a list of customers from uh, Power Automate. So I'm just doing a simple query there. And then what we do is we send that information through into ChatGPT through the ChatGPT um, API. So I'm passing through the customers. And then what you do is uh, you go out and update your history of the prompts with whatever you have from the previous steps. So I'm going to uh, store that away. We use that for the history so that the next time we ask a question, then ChatGPT will have the uh, context around it. And then, then we go out and ask a question and then whatever the question says, and again, we update the uh, history, whatever the question says, and we get a response and it comes back. And then finally it says, do you want to continue here? And the new version of Power Virtual Agents goes out and allows us to uh, call loop back to an uh, earlier step in the system, which is a lot better than how it was before because you sort of had to go out and draw a line back up to a different step. And this, this gives us our looping construct. So this is going to ask a question, it's going to store the information away in the prompt history, and then it's going to ask us if we want to do it again, and then it's going to append questions to it uh, over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question. And then what it's doing, it's now priming the data or my customer information. It's going to ask me, ask me to continue on in just a second. So now what I can do is I can say, how many customers do we have? And then it's going to tell me that we've got nine customers. I could say, can you list the customers? And I'm going to say, can you list the customers? And then it should return back a list of all the all the customers that we've got here. So the different customer accounts. Now I notice that there's different credit ratings for some of these. So I could say which customers say which customers have excellent credit rating. And now it's going to find, I think, two customers. So we've got two customers there, and I'll continue on. And maybe I'd want to go out and send them a thank you letter. So I say, create a thank you letter for these customers. And now it's going to draft up a, a letter for us. And But notice the customer account and the company name are not filled in. So I'm going to say, remember that our company name is Contoso Manufacturing. So now it rebuilt that, um, that letter for us. 
and uh, then I've uh, added in Contoso Manufacturing. So from now on, it'll remember that. So this is an example of how I'm uh, feeding into chat GPT a certain context, a certain set of information, in this case, customer details. And then I'm just going through the chat process and uh, uh, querying it and then just working through it. So I thought this was pretty cool and I thought it was uh, pretty neat to share. If anyone uh, wants more information, then you know where to find me. Find me on LinkedIn uh, anytime. It's just Murray Fa.